The Nigerian army is challenging Asari Dokubo, the Niger Delta militant, to an open gun duel. The military has asked Asari Dokubo to come out to the battlefield if he thinks that he has the weapon to take down the Nigerian military aircraft. Listen to them. Now to comments by some individual that they can shoot down the helicopter of the military. I think that's laughable. In fact, I'm about to laugh about that. And I say that because, you know, we're in a democracy and, we're in a and we are a professional force. We cannot just based on somebody's comments begin to do certain things and then they will not accuse the military of being undemocratic. The military is not the only security agency, force or department in the country. There are other security forces who have a role to play constitutionally when it comes to some of these issues. But I tell you that he doesn't have that capability. He is just blabbing. But I will allow the security forces that are responsible for handling such cases to take up the matter. Ours is come on the battlefield and we take you out. You should come on the battlefield and see whether we can react or not. Asari Dokubo has threatened to take down any Nigerian military plane he sees in River State that is hovering during or after the local government election. Listen to him. Weakest soldiers, weakest police, whoever had been flying over my house, my house and my compound in the last 30 minutes with two helicopter gun chip. I have the capacity to contain them. Nigeria cannot surrender to Wiki. Rivers people will not surrender to Wiki. Each job people will not surrender to Wiki. I have the capacity to contain them. And the government knows that I have the capacity to contain them. As I've been contain containing other people. Let them tell Wiki to back off. I am 60 years old. I've never been afraid of death. I've always embraced death. I had always embraced death, so I am not afraid of death. So, all those who are there, when the helicopter is shot down, let nobody blame them. I didn't go and look for the helicopter to shoot them down. I will shoot down the helicopter. I will shoot down the helicopter. I swear by Allah that I will shoot down the helicopter. Whoever is commanding them should be warned that I will shoot the helicopter down. Enough is enough. That Tinibu will hand over River State into slavery. The wicked, wicked is nobody. Without this one, I've learned of it. It's nobody. Wiki is nobody. Prince Asari Dokubo, a non state actor, threatening to shoot down the Nigerian military aircraft. In response to that, the Nigerian military is treating it with a kit glove. They are asking him to come to the battlefield. Come to the battlefield, then we are going to take you out. We are not going to come to your house and take you out come to the battlefield. This was the same Nigerian military that went to Nnam the Kanu house. A man that was released by the court on bay. A man that was going on his own without any form of violence. They went to his house, ransacked his house, killed his dog, destroyed so many things in his house that led him to fleeing the country. This is the same military we have seen in video. They've gone to the southeast, opened fire on the homes of people. 
This is the same military that have gone to the southeast to carry out Operation Crocodile Tears on innocent and on armed civilians. But when it comes to a non-state actor like Asari Dokubo that is threatening to shoot down their aircraft, Asari Dokubo that is telling them that he has the capacity, he has the weapon, even the federal government knows that he has the capacity to shoot down an aircraft, they are asking him to come to the battlefield. Do you know what it means to shoot down a military aircraft? Do you know the equipment that you require to shoot down a military aircraft? And he said that he has done it to other people. He has contained other people and he will contain the Nigerian military. If Asari Dokubo has the equipment, the military gadgets to take down a military aircraft, tell me which other gadget he does not have in his possession. Will the federal government allow a non-state actor to possess an equipment that can be used to take down a military aircraft? And they are not doing anything about it. They are not going to ransack his home. They are not going to arrest him. They are not going to confiscate the equipment in his possession. They are asking him to come to the open, to come and challenge them so he can be taken out. How low has our military gone? How docile has our military become? How weak has our military been rendered? We are talking about the same Nigerian military that was used to liberate other African countries. The same Nigerian military under the ECOMOC that was used to chase terrorists away from African soil. The same Nigerian military is now scared of Asari Dokubo. No wonder they have not been able to defeat Boko Haram for decades. No wonder they have not been able to solve insecurity in the Northeast. And the insecurity in the Northeast has spilled over to other parts of the country. No wonder they have not been able to contain banditry in the country. This is the ineffectiveness we are talking about. Ineffectiveness has crept in into all the instruments in this country. Country. There is no instrument in this country that is functioning optimally and this is as a result of bad government. This country is going down the drain in our very own eye. Nigeria is going to the woods and we cannot do anything about it. We are just watching it and clapping hands. The military is inviting a non-state actor to a battlefield rather than going to arrest him exactly stopping the Nigerian military from invading Asari Dokubo's home, search his house and take away all the guns, the ammunitions, the equipment he has, including the one that he threatened to use to take down the Nigerian military. During the 2023 presidential election, we saw how he brandished a gun threatening to shoot the obedient, but nothing has been done to him. But people that are calling for freedom, people that are seeking to actualize their self-referendum, they are being harassed, they are being detained, they are being arrested by the Nigerian military and they are being tagged terrorists. Nnamdi Kano has been incarcerated for many years now because he is calling for the freedom of the people of Biafra. Yet, Asari Dokubo is walking freely despite challenging and threatening to shoot down the Nigerian military aircraft. The Nigerian military that is conducting Operation Crocodile Tears in the Southeast, they've gone weak over the matter. They cannot even invade his home, they cannot even attack him. What a shame! Such a pathetic Nigerian military we have currently now. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.